Is Asheville's River Arts District destined to be the new downtown? It's a popular theory with millions of dollars in investments on the line. The future likely hinging on the success or failure of a few key projects. News 13's Ashley Searles joins us live from the River Arts District. And Ashley, it's about 10 acres that are in the focus right now. That's right, restaurants, retailers, studios, apartments, but before anything else, a road that could handle all that traffic. This road sees like 6,000 to 12,000 cars a day. This is how people get to and from work. The stretch along Riverside Drive between 12 Bones and Craven Street is a premium, high traffic, 10 acre swatch of real estate. The reality is this is the next downtown. I mean, it's just the truth. At an open house tonight, a look at the plans for the land. A footbridge, flags lining what'll be a new greenway, but the event really a plea for residents to suggest ideas over the next six months. The growth in the River Arts District up until now has been very organic. Progress was paced and incremental before the first huge waterfront investor, New Belgium Brewery, dropped in. Whenever you have a big partner, show up with $175 million, or in the case of the Dave Steele project, $40 million to put new apartments in. That's a game changer. It makes me nervous for um, the gentrification of what can happen. Local artist Julia Fossen came by because she knows right now is pivotal. If we're in the beginning phases of all of this, it's important to have a voice and to be able to tell people, you know, what we're thinking about. There are concerns. 12 bones will lose parking space. Will the environment be affected? And will this community maintain its quirky, creative identity? Hopefully, by doing this community engagement, we, i.e. the city of Asheville, will have a template to present to the developer saying, this is what we want to see happen. And something interesting, one of the organizers behind this project told me today, because of the floodplain down here, any business coming in would have to be able to afford the insurance and any building requirements, and they would have to be big. Reporting live in Asheville, Ashley Searles, News 13.